When discussing major economic sectors, one often overlooked gem is India's chemical industry, ranked sixth globally in chemical production, third in Asia, and 14th in exports. India's chemical sector is a vital hub for various industries like textiles, paper, paints, pharmaceuticals, and agrochemical. In agrochemical, India is the fourth largest producer, manufacturing over 50% of technical grade pesticides. The industry's growth at 1.2 to 1.5 times the GDP growth underscores its significance. India leads as the world's largest castor oil producer, responsible for 85 to 90% of global exports. Valued at $178 billion, India's chemical and petrochemical sector is set for a substantial investment of 8 lakh crore by 2000. 2025. The nation exports chemical to 175 plus countries, contributing 13% to India's total export. Moreover, India ranks second globally in both chemical fertilizer production and consumption, with a remarkable 75% increase in per hectare fertilizer usage over the last two decades. Key achievements. Scientists have uncovered a novel way to enhance the efficiency of converting waste heat into electricity using metavalent bonding in quantum material. India boasts the 11th spot in global chemical export and stands sixth in import. This showcases the country's significant role in the chemical industry. Notably, the Indian chemical sector provides employment to over 2 million individuals. Statistics. In the fiscal year 2022-23, the production of alkali chemicals saw a 5% increase compared to the previous year. Major chemicals witnessed a significant increase in production, reaching 130.22 lakh tons, a 2.19% rise compared to the previous year. Additionally, the combined exports of major chemicals and major petrochemical for all same period total 128.32 thousand crores rupees. These figures reflect a positive trend in the chemical industry's growth and productivity. Road Drivers India's Potash Limited has partnered with Israel Chemicals Limited to supply new rate to potash from 2022 to 2027, aiming to boost agriculture production. The Indian government is working on achieving self-sufficiency in urea and DAP production through green hydrogen. India has increased its refining capacity from 115 mmTPA to 251.2 mmTPA, ranking as the fourth largest globally. The Department of Chemicals and Fertilizers has formed a joint task force to explore the use of byproducts from the petroleum and petrochemical industries for crucial intermediates in the pharmaceutical and agrochemical industry. Prime Minister Modi has inaugurated 600 PM Kisan Samriddhi Kendras under the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizers. These centers will provide a range of service to farmers, including agri inputs, testing facilities, and information on government schemes. Industry Trends India's agrochemical sector is set to grow at 8 to 10 percent annually until 2025. The domestic demand for petrochemicals in India is forecasted to increase by 8% yearly over the next decade. Additionally, petrochemical capacity will expand over 40% in the next 5 to 7 years. Speciality chemicals contribute to over 50% of India's total chemical export. This is expected to exhibit the most accelerated growth with projections indicating a value of approximately $50 billion by 2000. 25. Budget Allocation 2023-24 The Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals received 173.45 crore rupees. The Department of Fertilizers is allocated 1,75,148.48 crore rupees. India's chemical industry shines as a global leader, making significant contribution to agriculture, technology, and the nation's economy. With promising growth drivers, remarkable achievements, and proactive government initiatives, the sector is poised for a vibrant future. As the industry evolves and expands, it continues to empower millions with employment opportunities. India's journey in the chemical domain exemplifies both progress and potential. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. For more information, visit kuvera.in.